Hey everyone, welcome back to the eBay shop. My name is Ryan from Resell CMY. We have 40 eBay orders already for $1,795.79. It's been a wild weekend so far on eBay. Um, out of those 40 orders so far, quite a few of them are lower, lower end stuff. So there's a couple big ones in there as well. Um, and also out of those 40 orders, some of those have three or four items all on one order. So. Uh, it is Sunday night, 9, 10 at night. Normally I pull orders Monday morning, but those of you know already, I have a business partner named Paul. He's dealing with cancer. Um, tomorrow morning he has to go get chemo again. He's not gonna be here, so I figured I can come out, I can film, I can pull these 40 orders so far on camera, maybe get a jump start on shipping, and then uh, I'll come back on this same video tomorrow morning and if there's any other sales, I'll cover that as well. So I already pulled, I don't know, maybe 10, 12 items, just uh, lesser dollar things or stuff that's difficult to pull just to kind of streamline this video. Um, I also have some viewer map locations to read off at the end, so I'll get to that as well. But how about that, 40 orders already, Sunday night at nine o'clock. Usually we pick up a few overnight, so I wouldn't be surprised to have four to six more orders to pull in the morning, hopefully more. Um, we got some big ones going on. We got some size going on. We got some multiple quantity items or orders going out. Pretty awesome. I've been out here already for, I think an hour and a half, uh, getting some Sunday night work in. The only person, the only company I got right here is Kabas. He's been bored. Hopefully he doesn't start whining to go outside because he just came back in before the video here. 6A. It's gonna be the first order here. Um, this is in here from Kennedy. Looks like she wanted to, uh, uh, what's that thing called? For the steering wheels, I can't remember. Looks like she's trying to keep me out of the drawers is what I'm trying to say. Here, we got an old Burger King toy here. Pokemon, the first movie. No idea what figure this is gonna be inside. It is brand new seal that says, collect your, complete your collection of 57 Pokemon. This was uh, $14 plus shipping. This came from the Nova Buy, uh, one of our recent buys. Next here, another small order. Uh, this came from the Star Wars Buy. This is a 2016 Hot Wheels Starship Tantive 4, I believe it says. Um, just a light item there, Hot Wheels. $11.99 free shipping on that. And like I said, we have a bunch of smaller orders here. But stay tuned, we're gonna have a bunch of larger ones also. This is the uh, Star Wars buy also. It's gonna be in D21 here. Stay tuned for the viewer map, getting filled in with some pins. You can really see it's uh, really filling out there. Okay, we got the fighter and X-Wing fighter, red two in there. It's two die casts, little Hot Wheels from Star Wars. And this sold for $15 with free shipping. We have, uh, I think it's this box right here. And it goes out at a 12-ounce rate, so we'll still make like 7 or $8, even though this is bigger. It's actually nicer selling these individually and loose as opposed to these bigger ones, but we'll take it right there. $15, free shipping. You whining already, huh? You can still see his haircut from surgery. Hasn't grown in fully. Okay, next item here is going to be right back on the table. Sorry about that. Buick, Buick Riviera keychain, $9.67, free shipping, make like three, four bucks on that. Okay, we're going to go over to J5, yeah, look, he's at the door. He literally just came back inside, you can see it's nighttime out. We also have a bunch of snow. J5, it's going to be this one, it has to be, it's the only one in here. This says uh, Enfy's Nest. See the character right there from Solo Wars? This is brand new on the card. We can get these shipped out at an eight ounce rate with our boxes. $28 with free shipping on this. And I'll set it on top of 16 here. These are already uh, pre-boxed items that I'll read off later. You're gonna be relentless there at the door, huh? All right, next here is going to be right here. Lady and the Tramp, Disney sweatshirt, size large. Picked this up at a garage sale last year for a dollar, and honestly, it took forever to sell. 
uh, maybe seven, eight months. Yeah, but it ended up selling for $22 plus shipping. I think Kabasi is the dogs on them. Or maybe he's just wondering what the heck I'm doing. Yeah, it's a dollar into 22 bucks. Not bad. I mean, we can wait for that. I'll hang that up over here. I'm going to actually pause this video. I'm going to let Kabasi outside real quick. Okay, we are back. Kabasi is actually back inside. He's under the table right there. He's laying in Luna's bed. Uh, he was outside for like 15 minutes when we were throwing the ball around, kind of get some energy out of him. Uh, hopefully be a little bit more chill now. Okay, next, I already have these pulled. Um, before I talk about these, I actually do want to mention a lot of these items that we sell during the weekend sales or even during the week, I try to come out before Paul gets to work or like uh, before I pull orders and I'll do some YouTube shorts and then I schedule them out for like two, three months. Just trying to pull more people from the channel. Um, sorry if that's like duplicate information for somebody that watches these long form videos. Um, just think of it as a reminder and us to, just know it's us trying to like get more people to come to the channel. Shorts have been bringing in maybe like, maybe like two or three subs for every short we put out. And I've been trying to do one where I pull like three or four orders and then uh, yeah, I just put them back and then for these longer form videos, I just pull them again. Uh, just trying to draw some people in and do put out as much content as possible. So if you see like these orders here being pulled in like two, three weeks, just know it's for that reason. Um, next is going to be right here. These Mikasa Crystal Sea Mist Sapphire. They are six inches tall. They're like these little, um, what does he have them at here? Uh, mini six inch replacement water goblets. So this little small goblets there. Uh, someone came along and bought three of them for $47.49 with free shipping. Um, the reason we did it like that, we weighed each of them because we have multiple sizes. Let me show you. You can already see there's some bigger ones up there. And then there's another different style right there. And then there's a different style there. A couple of different style smaller ones there. Um, we weighed each one and did a replacement um and a quantity on each one just because we had weird numbers like this one we had three some of them we had five um not normal like sets of two sets of four sets of six sets of eight so this way with the free shipping they could add a quantity and we could ship them all out together and it worked out good in this scenario three of them go out for 47 dollars and 50 cents uh depending on where it's going it probably cost us seven to ten dollars to ship those out so pretty cool d19 this is something I don't normally do. Um, I turned down two different offers on this fella right here. The reason being, hold on, let me uh, turn you around real quick. The reason being, I just sold the same exact figure without that little saddle there. And you can see Kabas came out of his hole and he's like, yes, I'm gonna eat that the second you set it down. <laughs> <laughs> I better be careful with this one. I turned down two different offers of this. I sold the same figure without that saddle for $30 uh, plus shipping going overseas. I listed this one for $40 plus shipping going overseas. Someone offered 28, I declined it and said I could do 35. Someone offered 30, I declined it and said I could do 35. And then someone ended up buying it at a 5% off offer for $37.99 plus shipping. It's also going overseas. So normally I'll try to I won't just decline stuff. I'll try to work out a deal or whatever. Okay, he really wants that. Let me look away from it. I'm gonna put it up a little bit higher here so he can't get it. <laughs> he has stolen orders from us before. Um, normally, I, I wouldn't haggle too much on price. Sorry, I almost just dropped my phone. Um, but I knew that that saddle by itself sells for like 15, 20 bucks. So I was like, someone's, it's actually a pretty good deal compared to the last one I sold without the saddle, so. All right, Yadro figure right here on shelf F. Um, it's gonna be these bears. Paul has it taped already. We got these polar bears. Make sure you know that name, Yadro. Uh, number 1.443. This sold another international sale, $39 plus shipping. Nice porcelain figures there. Yadro is an awesome brand. We made tons of money on that. That is also a good example. Um, I just filmed a short and had it 
that was on one of the shorts for like two, three weeks from now, just to let people know the Yadro name and to know about us. So, okay, next year we got a really, really cheap uh, vinyl going out. This is R. Kelly, Changing Faces. Must have been listed for $10 with free shipping. Got into the 12% off sale. So for $8.79 free shipping. We're only gonna make like two bucks, three bucks on that. Um, normally we wouldn't list stuff that low. I think our cutoff now that the mail rates have changed is gonna be $11.99. But happy to get it out of there. Maybe we'll get a good feedback or something. Um, some lower end item Star Wars figures going out. This one right here, 2004 Star Wars Revenge of the Sith Greatest Battles Clone. Has his weapons, even has the UPC in there, so for $10 free shipping. A uh, similar figure here. This one's a different color, uh, slightly different. Uh, and this one sold for $10 free shipping, different buyer. And then next is in J2. I probably should say uh, Paul's niece, Abrielle, listed those for us. She did pretty good. She could only come over for like two and a half hours. I think she did 29 listings for us and we're going to give her a, like a, it's like a dollar a listing. And then, and then when we have some bigger figures in there too, we kick her a couple extra bucks too. So it's like, it's like 10 to $15 an hour approximately uh, to come list with us. Just a little side gig for her. And we told her minimum threshold, $9.99 with free shipping because we can make four or $5 off each figure uh, if she lists them. We have 1,188 to get through, um, I, and she listed 29. So hopefully she can put like a six or eight hour day in and we can give her, you know, 80 bucks or something like that. Uh, let's see. J2, we'll talk more about that deal and how we structured that going forward. It's just that this has a ton of info. Just making sure I got the correct one. Yeah, it's gonna be this Millennium Falcon right here. Is that correct? Yeah, Millennium Falcon. Uh, Hot Wheels, Star Wars, commemorative. This had pretty good value, actually. I'm happy with this. This is number nine out of nine. That sold for $40 with free shipping from the Star Wars buy. It's a very happy little surprise Hot Wheels one right there. So compare that to the $15 with free shipping, $40 in free shipping is awesome. So very happy with that. Next here, we got a really good dinger going out. I'm gonna leave it up on the shelf. For those of you who don't know, a dinger is $100 or more items sold. It's gonna be right there from the Star Wars buy as well. Clone Turbo Tank. Juggernaut, Hasbro made it, 2009, near complete. And by near complete, I mean it has everything except for the little action figure, the little tank gunner. Um, all the little parts and pieces. Even has like a speeder bike inside it and such. Laid it all out. I think I listed this Friday and it sold today, Sunday. Um, $280 plus shipping. That is an awesome sale. That gets us a chunk back from that $3,700 Star Wars buy. Very, very happy with that one. What's the matter, bud? Can't possibly want to go outside again. Uh, another one, Abrielle listed for us here. It's going to be two of these lotted up together. Two Star Wars camo battle droids, 3.75 inches, $9.99, free shipping. It will go out under four ounces and should net us uh, four or five bucks. Not too bad. Next here is going to be in the Grams and Pops Vintage over on YouTube. Check them out. They gave us a sticker. We gave them a drawer. It's going to be this little one right here. Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs Special Edition Commemorative Ticket. Has a little coin in there too. Um, I think we had two of these. This is the second and last one to sell. Yep. Oh, it's a commemorative coin. Oh, and ticket. Okay, the outside's the ticket. Got you. Uh, Twelve dollars with free shipping on this. It's super light. We'll make six or seven bucks on that. Pretty cool from the meth buy right here. We got these hubcaps going out. 
Another thing I just pulled out and showed in a YouTube short just to let people know, look out for some hubcaps. We sold these Pontiac Catalina dog dish style. You can see why. Um, hub set of four hubcaps. Nice clean condition on these for how old they are too. Uh, $70 plus shipping on that set of four. So that was an awesome little bonus from the meth buy there. Next here is going to a neighboring state. Um, I think it was Vermont. It might be New Hampshire. One of the states close to us up there to the north. I can't really remember. Just a Peeps yellow Easter Bunny push, pop, push button thing. Uh, it was like a little throw-in thing from the arcade buy. It works. <laughs> uh, this sold for $11.43. Um... Free shipping on that, we'll make like five bucks. Okay, next here is this stack. Number four, number 17, number 18, number 19. This all came from the shelves up here. It all came from the Nova buy. Each one of these boxes has 20 Hot Wheels cars in there, um, die cast cars, 20 of them all brand new on the card. We started my auction at $14.99. Some of them get bid up, some of them get one bid. Um, after they go through the auction, if they don't get a bid, we relist it as a buy it now for 15 bucks. I'm not sure how all four of those ended up, but some of them were definitely bid on because the total price was, oh, well, maybe they weren't. For four of them, $57.97. So a couple of them I think were buy it nows that maybe we sent a 5% off offer on too. Going out to the same buyer though, it's going to Rhode Island too, which is pretty cool. Uh, we need a... We need a tack on the viewer map from Rhode Island. So if any of you are viewers, let us know where you're from in Rhode Island. Uh, yeah, four of those lots going out, same buyer. I did send an invoice so they could get a better shipping deal on that before they paid. Next, we got another dinger. I'm gonna have to move that viewer map too. Very awesome. Behind the viewer map, let's go set this on the radio. Okay. It's gonna be right here. G.I. Joe 1990 Dusty and Sandstorm. It's in a protective case too. It does have a little creasing on the card and stuff. It's not like perfect condition, but it is brand new sealed. That came from the G.I. Joe's buy. $140.79 with free shipping. So obviously that's an awesome sale. Super happy. Got a little extra protection on there. Just put some bubble wrap on there. Good to go out. D20. Oh, he just laid down. Literally just laid down. I gotta go right behind him. Sorry, bud. Sorry, bud. It's gonna be this TIE Fighter. This is this just a few days ago. Let's see if I have this one as listed as complete. Second. I didn't put it in the title, so. Uh, 30th anniversary 2007 Hasbro TIE Fighter vehicle for the 3.75 inch figures. It does have ejecting wings on there. Laid it all out in the picture. It is not brand new sealed. Pre-owned. Excellent condition. And it sold for $35 plus shipping. So very happy with that Star Wars sale as well. Next is right here. We are looking for Maria Mitchell. Right there, the second one. These are the uh, Hall of Fame of Great American Coins. We had like 50 of these things, if not more. Probably more like 75. Uh, these coins have slowly sold off. Captain Billy, thank you very much. Repeat buyer. Not sure if you're a viewer, but you have bought a ton of these coins from us. This one, $15.04 with free shipping. Um, out of the 75 or whatever we have, we only got that little stack left right there. Okay, we got another lot that was going out. I pulled this already, number 16, another 20 Hot Wheels cars, brand new on the card, $15 plus shipping. Next is right here on C. I know Paul lotted these up the other day. We have a salt and pepper shaker. Let me see here. Let me see what he has it listed at. I'm not even sure what this little piece is right there. So he has it as, oh, a toothpick holder, um, 
All salt, uh, all matching salt and pepper shaker, toothpick holder. Pretty cool little set there. Not ton of value. Um, I think he listed it for $9.99. Someone offered seven bucks and we jumped on it. Uh, it only was listed for two days, but still. $2.99 difference. We'll take $7 plus shipping on those. J16 got another Star Wars item going out. Let's see here. It is going to be, I'll leave this one right here. L3, yep, L3-37, one of these Force Link figures. Um, these didn't have a ton of value. I think like one out of every five I looked up, I could sell by itself. This one though happened to do really good. $25 with free shipping. It's super, super light. Might even be four ounces at the very least, uh, very most, I mean, eight ounces going out. With free shipping, uh, 25 bucks free shipping. So that's pretty good. Next is right here. We got another little Hot Wheels Star Wars car. Um, sorry, uh, Snow Speeder, Rebel Snow Speeder Starship. $12 free shipping on that. So we'll make six or seven bucks. There was a ton of those cars. I'm going the wrong way. Down on shelf G. This has been listed for a long time. Monopoly. Brand new sealed. Came from the Baker Buy a while ago. Marvel Avengers. Like I said, brand new sealed. $14.95 plus shipping on that one. Okay, so we had these cheaper figures. And the reason we're listing them all individually is the reason I'm going to show you right now. There's actually going to be, I think, four reasons I'm going to show you going forward. We got it in J8. And we also numbered these quadrants for her. So when Abrielle listed it, she listed it J8-1. So we got quadrants. One, two, three, four. Probably should label them. Um, one of these fellas went out right here. Star Wars Vintage Collection VC18 Magna Guard. $30 plus shipping. Um, pretty awesome. And I'm 99% sure. Let me go down, scroll down just a couple. More than a couple. J8-1, yep, also. $30 plus shipping, or sorry, free shipping. So both of these different buyers, uh, total is gonna be $60 with free shipping on each of them. Uh, or free shipping for each of them. And that's why we listed them, and or are gonna list them separately. We know there's more expensive figures in there. Once she looks up a figure, if it's only worth $9.99 free shipping, we told her to just go ahead and list it. Um, we have an item description she can copy and paste over and then just tweak it and massage it to meet this listing. Take a few pictures, stash away for us. They are all bagged and sorted already for her. Um, so we can get four or five bucks. She's already halfway there once she looks it up. And then every once in a while, you get one of these $30 with free shipping. That's why we're doing it individually. Let me uh, go back just a little bit here. Okay, next, D7. This video might drag on a little bit because there is a lot of sales and a lot of me talking. Hope you're enjoying it, though. Give me a like down below if you are. Or give me a comment. Tell me you aren't. <laughs> we got this little Springbok puzzle. Uh, seven by seven inch brand new seal that is Kermit with a wreath there. $12.75 plus shipping. Oh, back in D20. Down the bottom here. It's going to be this little Hummel in this destroyed box. Uh, bad condition box. This is going to be Globetrotter number 926. You can see them on the side there. $13 plus shipping on this one. And D7. We are just in D7 too, weren't we? I think it's this little tiny lot of cars. The plane? Yep, I think it's this one. All right, whenever Paul goes through a box and he, there's all these loose cars, he'll just make a little lot and just blast it out the door. This was no exception. Um, it looks like maybe seven cars in a plane. Eight dollars and seventy-nine cents plus shipping. We'll happy happily get anything for those little lots. So that's pretty cool. 
D5. Old school picker drawer. Chris, not making videos anymore, but maybe he will soon. He can still go check out his channel. Old school picker. Let's see here. It is definitely this. What does it say? Harry and his bucket full of dinosaurs. Tori and Steggy. Fisher Price. Uh, came from Dan's. Paul must have listed this as well because I do not remember it. International sale. Fifteen dollars and eighty nine cents uh, plus shipping. So that is, I'll take fifteen bucks for that all day long. I have no idea what that even is. Staying here, we got two thousand and four trilogy collection C three PO uh, nine ninety nine free shipping. Make like four or five dollars. Next is right here from the Star Wars buy as well. It is on D Millennium Falcon. This is a motion motion sensing quadcopter. You can see the propellers on it there. Maybe you can. Pretty cool. Um, for a modern toy like this, $30 plus shipping. Yes, I'll take that all day long. That is awesome. So, $30 bucks plus shipping on that Millennium Falcon. Okay, next was... Okay, next we have another big one in J8-3. So, this is similar to those other loose ones. But she lotted up two of them. It's going to be right here. And I wish she would have put them in the... I'm going to have to tell her if she lots them up to put them in the same bag, though, so we don't screw it up. So it's going to be two of these figures right here. And you can see, these were put away so nice. And there's just... Every single one has its own bag. Most of them have their UPC, their little uh, identification card. Most of them are completely complete. <laughs> completely complete. Uh, with the weapons and everything. These two lotted up $35.00. Plus shipping. I'm going to set these away from the other ones so I don't screw them up. Nice. So $17.50 a piece basically with free shipping. So I'll take that all day. Got a really good vinyl going out. JF. Or sorry. JF. Gray Toe F, which I moved to over here. It's not that Elvis. It's not that Elvis. It is. I believe it's this one. Yep. Elvis. Frankie and Johnny, APL1-2559. It is brand new sealed. And this sold for $48.39 with free shipping. That is an awesome vinyl. So that helps make up for the, uh, the lesser vinyl there. I'll take it. Next is J14-2. I already pulled this fella. Um, ROTS clone attack. Uh, Coruscant, it's Coruscant Blue Commander. I don't know. It's hard to read all that. $9.99 free shipping. It does have a couple weapons there with it. And another keychain. This one's a Plymouth one. $9.67 with free shipping. Make four or five bucks. And the last one for now, we're going to have Rack 1, which is going to be over here. This is going out to the same buyer. I will have to refund a little shipping. Right here is just... Rack one's up there. Jedi Starfighter, Obi Wan's Jedi Starfighter with firing missiles. And so I got that. And then wire rack. Must be this one. Yep. Sacy. Let me see what it says. Sacy Tins Jedi Starfighter. Did I pronounce that right? Let me know in the comments. Um, both of these are in excellent, excellent condition. I'm pretty sure both of these were 100% complete, too. If not, I definitely mentioned it. Um, yeah, I mean, they function well. They're easy to check, everything like that. They're already packed up inside these boxes with bubble wrap. Uh, total order for those two, $70 plus shipping. They paid 20 bucks to ship. I might be able to still get that under the... That might be decent with the cubic rate still, so... Probably refund six, seven, eight bucks on that. Okay, I know we already had a couple orders come in. I'm gonna stop it here though, and I'm gonna cover those in the morning. Let me see. We do have two more orders that came in. I'm gonna wait till the morning to get those. Um, and also, after I get those in the morning, I will do all the pin locations for the resale CMY Army map. So thank you for commenting on that. Stay tuned, stick with me for a little bit. 
Uh, there is one cool item that already sold. I'd like to show you guys that in the morning, so stick around. Hopefully there's a few more as well. All right, I'm back. Good morning, everyone. I got seven total items going out for $338.68. One, two, four. Sorry, seven total orders. There's like uh, 11 or 12 items going out. So again, really good. How much more? $338.68. I think, if I'm correct, the front half of this video was at like $1,700. So that's going to put us at like 2k for their normal weekend hour so that is awesome um, i'm just gonna get right to pulling orders here and then uh i'll read off the uh new locations on the resale cmi army map um i was out here until 12 40 in the morning so shipping stuff um got it all done wanted to have a fresh number with uh all these items that you know we didn't talk about in the video yet and man, it was a lot of shipping. Plus I filmed three YouTube shorts. I started uploading the footage that I filmed yesterday. Um, I pinned the map. Uh, There's probably a couple other things I did too, but I was out here for a long time. So Sunday night, putting in like three, four hours. Um, yeah, at least four hours. Hold on, let me go to uh, turn on the light real quick. This first thing, it says it's an ET item. That's what I listed it as. Um, here's the carnage from me shipping yesterday. I'll be picking that up before I quit for the day. Uh, this first thing here, D7. Yep, right here. This came with a ton of stuff from Dan's house and they were all ET figures. And they were like these like kind of knockoff figures, like China made. And all the same boxes with the same stickers and everything were all labeled with this ET thing here. You can see right here, ET Motorcycle Play 655. Um, the other boxes were like squares that had little ET ships. Um, some of them had little P like PVC or plastic ET figures in them and stuff. Uh, they were all clearly ET. This one, I don't remember this from ET. I'm gonna show you. See here, isn't it? There we go. It literally says on the package, ET Motorcycle Play. This did finally sell for $24 plus shipping. I think it's been listed for, I don't know, almost two years. Do you remember them playing with dirt bikes? And men at work with barrels. I kind of remember them, like maybe in the beginning there was some dirt bike action. I don't know. I mean, obviously, I remember the bike scene where he flies with the bike and stuff, but that wasn't motorized bikes. Um, I think that's why it took so long to sell, too. But it is listed as an ET item. That's what the box said. I couldn't find anything else like it. The other stuff I could find. So I don't know. It did sell, though. $24 plus shipping, so I'll take it. Uh, 34, I have no idea where this came from. Uh, oh, Paul, let's put in a skew Dan's. So, I don't know. This is something weird that came from Dan's. Real modern type thing. Um, pilot, your onboard witness... Wis, your onboard witness dash cam. That sold for $8.79 plus shipping. Next here is going to be these five. You've seen me pull... These boxes before, look, there's only two of them left up there. One of them is a lot of 20. One of them is, might even be a waiting payment. This one's just a lot of like 12 cars, I believe. Um, that's all that's left after today. Five orders going out to the same person. There is 20 brand new on-card Hot Wheels figures on each in each pet box there. Total of 100 cars. So for $75.22 plus shipping. I did send a couple invoices with combined shipping because uh, he had four at first or three at first. I sent an invoice. Then he bought two more. I sent an updated invoice. I probably will have to still uh, refund a couple dollar shipping. We'll see how it plays out though. We also have this lot going out to somebody else. It's going international. 20 more Hot Wheels brand new on card. Got bid up at auction to $15.50 plus shipping. 
Next is 16A. We have a 1978 Baron Brass belt buckle. And it's underneath everything. Sorry about the camera work on that. Uh, yeah, we got a brass belt buckle here. Obviously a van, Chevy van. So for $12.31 plus shipping. It's amazing how many belt buckles we've sold this week. Just They're just <laughs> still listed. Then we had hundreds of them. Okay, here's a pretty cool one from the Nova Buy. Not something we typically have a lot of. Got this croc. Um, it doesn't really have any markings on it. I think it had like the letter, yeah, right there it had the letter B put into it. Um, no color or anything, but it has a nice handle. No real clack, uh, cracks. Has some imperfections in it and stuff, but just gives it some character. Uh, I listed this one. This sold for $45 plus shipping. So that's a pretty cool sale right there. And lastly, the... I know the plaques are inside here. These are like door pushes. This is the correct one. Um, vintage wall plaque or door push. Um, this sold for $15.83 plus shipping. So I do have one more of them inside that vanilla envelope in there. And that's gonna be it for overnight sales, but happy to snag another 300 plus. I'm happy to move all those Hot Wheels out the door too. Next, if you don't know, and this is your first time watching, or you haven't watched in a while, uh, resell CMY Army Map. These are gonna be our subscriber locations. We've been pinning them on the map. Just leave a comment where you're watching from. It's not all my murder dump sites or anything like that. It is subscriber locations. Have a few more to read here. And man, I think YouTube shows us by like zone or something because all of a sudden we have all sorts of people from Tennessee watching. So we got Telford, Tennessee, Hiskell, Tennessee, Orland, California, Knoxville, Tennessee, Nashville, Tennessee, Mission, Texas, Florence, Alabama, and Alamosa, Colorado. So thank you very much for commenting. It really helps out with the YouTube, algor YouTube algorithm. Plus it's just kind of cool seeing the map fill in. I'm just gonna keep rolling with it. Um, I'll probably mention it less and less frequent in videos just because I feel like we're not gonna have as many comments going forward. But it still should pick up a few every week or so. Uh, happy about that. Don't have any new magnets for the, the state wall or anything like that, so I will be going to the post office today, obviously. I'm just gonna stop the video here. It's been a long one. It's like eight in the morning right now and I was up till 12.40 already shipping last night. Be happy to get this stuff cleared off really quick. I'm glad a lot of it's already boxed up and the rest of it should be pretty easy besides that crock. Thank you all for watching. Please comment, like, and if you haven't already, go down and subscribe. Hopefully Paul will be feeling good after this round of chemo. Not feeling good, but feeling okay to come back and be in the next video or two. So uh, yeah, hopefully you'll see him in the next one. Thank you all. Have a good one. Bye. Say resell CNY. Resell CNY. Said, please like and subscribe. Please like and subscribe. <laughs> Say thank you. Thank you. And bye. Bye. Bye, guys. Right. Thank you. Bye.